What's up guys, this is Tech here. I'm gonna show you how to make one of the sickest logos, titles, banners you have ever seen. This is the one I made. Personally, I think it looks so sick. And I just wanna share how to make it with you guys. So first, you're just gonna make a new file. Sorry, my computer's been running slow very lately. I do not know what the reason is. You're gonna make a new file and you're gonna make it around pretty big actually. 2000 by 2000 or 1000 by 1000 is fine. Um, just to have a lot of space to work with. And you're gonna get your text tool and you're gonna write down whatever you want. I'm gonna go L M F A. Oh, I don't know. I just picked something. Okay. So you're going to drag it to the center. Um, you're going to want to make it as big as possible to fit the screen. To fit the page, actually. Um, okay. Okay, I think that looks real good. Next thing you want to do is delete the background. The reason you're doing this is so you only have the letters left. Next, you're gonna go to your magic wand tool, not the quick selection, the magic wand. And you're just gonna press the letter and you're gonna hold shift down when you press the next letter or when you press it, the letter before that will not be selected. So just press shift while you click all of them. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna wanna watch my other video on how to get custom brushes for Photoshop, but if you already know how to get them, or you already have some, then you're fine for now. Um, you're gonna want some cool brushes like Radioactive or Grunge or Blood or something like that. And you're gonna go down to your brush. Oh yeah, and once before this, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, when you have this selected, you're going to right click and you are going to press rasterize type. Now that will let you um, use your brush tool on letters because before that it wouldn't let you do that. And now you're going to choose a very very cool brush, very very cool one, it has to be cool. I'll choose this one. I think that looks sick. And if you notice here, if I try to make a picture, or at least use the brush, it won't work. It would only work if I used it here. That's the whole point for now. And you're just gonna um, make some really, really cool designs here. Um, use a couple of different brushes just to, you know, spice it a bit. Make some blood over here, maybe some here, maybe some here. Ah, that doesn't look actually too nice. Ah, I think I'll just go. So, you just make it, I'm not gonna make mine too fancy because I already have a really good one. But. I'm just gonna do some stuff with it. No, so here. Um, make it really creative. Don't really follow what I'm doing. Just make your own thing. It doesn't have to be violent or scary. As you can see, I have a lot of brushes here. That, and if you want to get these brushes, watch my previous video. That will be in the dis. We'll be at the bottom actually right now as we speak. Alright, so I'm just gonna use the same thing because I don't really care. Alright, so once you have that, make yours really really cool. You're gonna you're gonna copy it. And once you've copied that, you're gonna press file and then new. And if you don't if you've done any everything correctly, leave this the way it is because that's actually going to make a page that's exactly the same dimensions that you need for this. You're going to press OK. 
and if you paste, you're going to see that it's exactly the size that you need. Alright, it looks really cool. Um, if you do it this way, the resolution is going to be just outstandingly high. It's going to look really, really like HD picture. Now you're going to um, click on the background, and you're going to press layer from background. Press OK. You're going to press blending options, and you can make it a gradient overlay. You can make a pattern overlay. You can make a colors overlay. I think I'll go with that just as a basic kind of thing. Um, you could also do this to your letters. I'm going to blending options on the layer one. You can add bevel and emboss, Satan, color overlay, which I don't know why you would do that. You wouldn't do that either. You wouldn't do that either. Well, you could do this. You could do any of them actually and re reduce the opacity. So, kind of can't really see it. I think that's okay. You can drop a shadow. Kind of blurry. And that's basically it. After you're done, click File, Save As. Save it as a Photoshop, and once you've done that, save it as a JPEG. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you guys. And if it did, please subscribe for more videos like these. Alright, I'll see you guys later. See you.